Hey guys, welcome back. Let's play Shadow Hearts Covenant. Last time we finished up all we needed to do, finally, with the absolutely terrible Man Festival. This time we're back in Yokohama streets and there should be someone new to talk to around here. I believe it's you. There we go. Today, we are going to do a side quest for Geppetto. Looks like a doll I saw a long time ago. Why don't you tell me about it? Well, Geppetto is French. Hmm. As you might expect, because, well, it's a video game. If there's any type of connection, well, we must have known him from before. So let's figure it out. Lost his daughter to an accident just before he disappeared. Hmm. Mansion's been left just as it was. You can go check it out. But that's all they tell you. They don't tell you where it is, they just go, oh, you should check it out. And then it just magically appears on the map. So there's that. That's some nice looking artwork. Spooky Mansion. Could you leave this one to me? It won't take long. I promise. So, like with the uh, couple of the other side quests, we have to form a party around him. Now, I'm going to use the same party that I had uh, set myself up with before, which just so happens to be a primarily magical party. Uh, not for any reason, just why not? Something to do. Everyone's in and around the same level now. Uh, so like with Lucia's quest, he's going to be leading the way. There are six items in here, only five of which we can get before the boss. And there is indeed a map, which makes life a lot easier. Of course, the map is also kind of terrible because it doesn't show which room I am currently in, but that's fine. We will uh, find the item that's probably here and we'll figure it out. Here's a door. No, this is kind of a cool thing. We've used this lantern in side quests already. It's just kind of weird that we got this for a plot point much earlier in the game, and now, for whatever reason, we've just found additional reasons to use it. You don't see that a lot in video games. Usually you get an item for a quest, you do that quest, and you never think about that item again. As you can see, there is a uh, dead end over here, and we can't examine it. Okay, that's fine. Thought we could. Over here, we get a lottery ticket. All the dolls say pretty much the same thing. There's a few of them around here. Now, there is another item in here. Let's see if we can find it. Video game? Where is it? Gotta be in here somewhere. I know it's here. It's listed on the map. It's not on the map. It's actually outside. What am I doing? There we go. There, extract. I can't read maps very well. Yeah, so you're going to take over again. 
Good thing it saves the party, because that makes my life easier. And yeah, save point in the first uh, first screen of the house. Seems kind of weird, but okay. Mm, nothing over there. It's kind of an odd little area. Definitely. Wait a minute, there's supposed to be an item here, isn't there? Oh, there. It's kind of hidden. It uh, It's right in the open, but it looks like a lot of the other background junk. There are indeed battles to be had in here. Uh, this area reminds me a lot of uh, an area from the previous game, where I believe we fought some of the same enemies, or at least they had the same name. Um, what was it in the previous game? There was something in the previous game I was sure it was like another dollhouse and then I went back and I looked uh, a few weeks ago or a month ago or something like that and I was like oh it wasn't anything close to that and so I'm not going to say what I think it was because uh, it was already wrong once some kind of a haunted house I think probably wrong on that Enemies are enemies. There's not a whole lot to most of them at this point in the game. We just destroy everything pretty quickly. These ones may not die because I believe they're darkness based. Oh, they are still dead. Look at that. I don't know what they do. Hey, look, another door. Let's go in here then. Now, here's a treasure chest that I can actually see. Containing another crucifix. Thank you, video game. They give most of them to us in uh, side quests. Uh, all the dolls say the same thing. We just comment that they look very real. So let us move on and figure out why there are so many dolls around here and what exactly that means for us. And who's attacking us? What, more of the same? More of the same, okay. Well, we'll nuke them just as we did before without any issue, hopefully. I had to say it. I knew as soon as I said it, I was gonna make a, an absolute fool of myself. Well, that's kind of frightening. Holy shit! I'm assuming that reduced them to one. Because, yeah, now you're dead. There's evil summoning. Now you're dead. Okay, so these enemies are dangerous. Do not overlook them. Okay. Okay. Let's nuke as many as we can. Yeah, that's um, kind of frightening. Let's revive some people. Do you have the spell? You do have the spell. Let's uh, let's do that. Just for you. And. Talisman of Mercy. I bought some of those. It probably was off screen, but I bought up to 20 of them. Should be more than enough for the rest of the game. Yeah, definitely these guys are darkness based. 
Uh, one thing I did forget to do is take a snapshot of these guys. I, I would guess that we get that knife nightmare ability. I'm not 100% sure on that, but... Yep, there it is. One shot. Gotta love it. And yeah, so they have a small amount of HP. Ah, uh, you miss. Well, wasn't the uh, most productive fight I've ever been in, <laughs> but at least we got a new ability out of it. Let's uh, make sure we're all healed up after that. Hmm. Uh, we did get our item in here, right? Or did we get it? Oh, no, we didn't. Almost bad. The uh, fifth and final Silver Angel. Here, there's a diary. We should read a little. July 17th. Emptiness inside still tortures me. I know what I'm attempting is foolish and a waste of time, yet I keep trying. Trying to make a doll to take my daughter's place. Mountain of ugly failures all around me. Vacant stares, lifeless lips, cracked skin. Once again, feel my limitations as a doll maker. Teacher once told me about a crest that holds the power of a demon. The crest is here in my hand now. Where in the world did I get it? past few days are nothing but a blank. My teacher, uh, if what my teacher tells me is true, my salvation is near. Use the power of this crest to resurrect my daughter's soul. Some of my failures have developed wills of their own. Oh, and started talking. It's the crest power. I can feel my spirits lifting. Name the talking dolls. Rebecca, always all alone. Elena? I'm guessing that's Alina. Tells nothing but lies. Gina loves to trick people. Well-behaved Barbara, quiet Diane, Tina and Emma, who get along so well with each other. Hope has turned to conviction. My daughter will be reborn. All I need now is a vessel for her soul. My masterpiece is done. Lovely doll with features just like my daughter's. Finish the process in the cellar, put a code lock on the door to keep out intrusions. Well, you want to see it, huh? Something about a code. Do you want to go down into the cellar? Well, we're in a very scary, haunted looking area, so... Of course, there's some mysterious creature here talking to us. The doll is... Of course, the doll's talking, yeah. He, he just said it, and that makes perfect sense. Dolls talk. That's how this world works, right? Otherwise, I think I'm screwed. Could you tell us the code? I'll tell you the code if you say my name. Since Papa's been gone, nobody ever says my name. Such a pretty name, too. Now, the way that this works, you can reread all the different days if you want to and get additional information. The point here is you need to name all of the dolls based on the information of talking to them. Tell you the code if you say my name. This doll's name is, in this particular case, they don't give you any hints. So if we backtrack a little bit and go into the next room, you'll see some dolls here. Okay, and after that battle, we go here. This doll's name is, okay, that one doesn't give a hint. That's separated from my friend. So yeah, Basically, if you go back and reread the doll entries, they'll each of them will give you a different, um, you know, there's like little bits of information about each of them, about their personalities, and you're supposed to try and figure them out. 
If you answer incorrectly, you fight another unique enemy. A torso? Is that the only one? It might be. I don't know. Either way, let's uh, finish them off. Uh, we'll have you snapshot those since sure we'll find another use for it other than its intended purpose of just getting us new abilities. Yeah, they have crap for HP as well, so nothing particularly special about them. Okay, target those two. We never get to see Red Blaze anymore. Mainly because there's almost no reason to use it when her skills are better. Ah, uh, Geppetto. I guess we're going to target a single one since we don't have a choice. Panel miss. Well, I guess it gives you a chance to see what these guys do. Okay, they are red. They are fire-based. Nothing particularly special there. Combo up again. Actually probably made things easier because now the enemies are closer together. I almost missed that. Yeah, unless you're trying to save MP, you're pretty much best off using this one. It just it hits everything. Other, I guess, unless you want to save some time, maybe you wouldn't. But uh, we probably one shot them with normal attacks too. Now that I think about it. Yep. Ah, Talisman of Mercy. I wonder what else you get around here. I'll look it up in a battle I do off screen. Whatever. All right, as you can see by the map that I've had on screen, you can just choose those ones instead of going by all of their specific uh, traits. You're basically supposed to do it kind of in order, I think. Um, but like you, you do one which gives you a little bit more information about what you could do about the other ones, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, you learn one letter from you. Whoa, it's kind of dark. Uh, this one here is uh, Gina. See, yeah, like I was trying to figure this out in my test run based on how the game expects you to do it. And it was very confusing. Um, so I just kind of gave up. I'm assuming she's supposed to be one of the last ones that you're supposed to guess because there's no information about her at all because she doesn't say anything. Uh, no idea. Is it now? All right. And there is one more over here. Crying every day. So they're giving us little pieces of the code. Um, oh, you can't see he took out your eyes. Well, this is creepy. So let's go back to the first one here and we'll uh, give you your name. I don't think there's any reason to fail them, the quest or the naming them over and over again. Okay. And your name is, of course, I just put up other information in the way. Uh, your name is Rebecca. I don't know the whole code. The first letter is B. Smell of blood. She must have taken many lives. You don't get your own hands dirty. Yeah, it's kind of how he rolls. 
All right. Uh, one minor note, uh, both the enemies here, and there are only the two that we've seen, uh, drop lottery tickets rarely. Uh, the Bailey drops Daphne Fruit, and the other one, the Torso, as we saw, drops Talisman of Mercy. It's more of a common item. Uh, one other thing I forgot to go over in the previous episode is, let's go over to Joachim here. Uh, oh, you're going to turn into that, are you? Uh, I... Actually, it's not in here, is it? Let's... No. Wrong set of items. Too many items. The Mask of Question. Now, instead of becoming Grand Papillon, he becomes the Great Question. I don't know if it affects his stats at all. But uh, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But that's there if you're interested in that. We'll find out uh, next time Joachim decides to uh, transform on us. But other than that, there's not much left to this area. It's uh, pretty short when you already know, uh, you know, which dolls are which and where they are because you have a nice map to make your life easier. So we'll just head on over here and we will go and talk to the rest of them. Uh, this one over here. One of them tells nothing but lies. I was the one telling the lie. Yeah, see, they try and trick you like this, so you're just going to fail a bunch of times. I I find this kind of stuff tedious. Um, it's just dumb. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it. We might even, feel, even kill our owners, too, if we feel like it. Well, I'm scared. Somebody help me. Let's uh, go talk to another doll. I love to talk. So Diane's in this room, which is actually true. And this is Tina. Or they just get rid of us if we're not nice, you know. And this doll's name is, of course, I just said it, Diane. And with that, we've gotten all of the answers over here for this door. I'll check it out. Now, because I didn't write down any of those numbers, I'm just going to quickly scroll to find the correct answer, which is uh, B. Now they give you the entire elf well, not the entire alphabet, but they give you most of the alphabet to work with here. Um, so I guess there's that. And the correct answer is Bridget, which opens the cool looking door. It opened. Yeah, they, uh, if you paid more attention than I did to the, uh, what the dolls were saying is they all, or not all of them, but a lot of them just kind of talk down about how dolls are kind of received by humans. And, you know, the one talked about, uh, you know, the doll doing all the work. So Geppetto doesn't get his hands dirty, that kind of stuff. I didn't really go through it all that well, but we're just going to back off here and we're going to go hit that save point real quick because that's pretty much all the time we have for this one. Next time, we're going to head down into the basement and confront the uh, doll that's apparently down there and see if this is indeed somebody that Geppetto knows from his past. 
that's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.